Every new day is a precious opportunity, a blank page on which we can write our story. But how do we begin the day with strength, calmness and balance? That's a question that Stoic philosophy, one of the most valuable ancient schools of thought, can help you answer. In our modern, chaotic world, the principles of Stoicism still resonate, guiding us on how to live a meaningful, self-controlled and serene life in the face of any challenges. In this video, I will share five morning habits based on Stoic philosophy that you should practice to prepare your mind, control your emotions, and face whatever life throws your way. These habits will not only help you stay alert, but will also train your patience and self-discipline and awaken the inner strength within you. Let's explore the Stoic morning journey so that each day becomes a step toward the best version of yourself. As always, I have a small challenge. Watch the video until the end if you are truly serious about maintaining calm in all circumstances and developing yourself. Leave a comment saying, I accept the challenge, or simply, challenge accepted to train your perseverance. Now, let's begin with the first part of today's video. Number 1. Morning Routine Morning routines are the foundation of a new day, the time when we shape our mindset and emotions to face the challenges ahead. According to Stoic philosophy, establishing a morning routine is not just about performing specific actions, but also about nurturing tranquility and steely resolve in the face of life's uncertainties. In the quiet moments of the morning, we find self-control and remind ourselves that happiness does not depend on external circumstances, but lies in how we choose to confront them. The famous Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, When you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, the people I deal with today will be meddling, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous, and surly. This reminder from Marcus is not just a warning about the challenges we might face during the day, but also a call to prepare ourselves mentally from the start. Why? because how we begin the day often influences how we handle everything that follows. Imagine a morning when you wake up without a clear plan, your mind cluttered with negative thoughts, worrying about work, family and social responsibilities. Without a routine to shape your mind and spirit, you may easily get caught in a whirlwind of anxiety and lack of control. However, if you take the time to sit down, breathe deeply and reflect on the values you want to pursue, you will step out into the world with greater strength, no matter what challenges arise. Why is the morning so important? In the Bible, we also see similar teachings. Jesus often withdrew to quiet places in the early morning to pray and connect with the Father. It was a sacred time for him to find peace in his soul before facing the great tasks of the day. This can remind us that the morning is the perfect moment to connect with ourselves, listen to our inner voice, and seek guidance. Whether from Stoic philosophy, religious faith, or whatever brings us peace. Ask yourself, do you often spend your morning reflecting on what truly matters? Or do you just dive into life, letting events beyond your control dictate your emotions and actions? For Stoic philosophers, the morning is not just a time for physical training, but also a time to train the mind. You can start with simple actions like light exercise, meditation, or writing down your thoughts. This not only helps you maintain physical health, but also allows you to realign your mindset. A real-life example from modern times is the morning routines of successful people. 
Many famous entrepreneurs like Tim Ferriss and CEOs of leading companies such as Apple and Google emphasize that they have a clear morning routine to stay mentally sharp and focused. They spend time meditating, reading or reflecting before starting their work. This helps them maintain creativity and patience as well as the ability to solve problems when faced with difficult decisions. In his book Meditations, Marcus Aurelius often recorded his thoughts every morning as a way to remind himself of the principles he followed. He would write about not letting negative emotions control him and not allowing external factors to disturb his calm. He didn't just list what needed to be done in the day, but also reminded himself to live by core values, humility, kindness and patience. Similarly, Jesus also taught do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. This can be interpreted as a call to focus on the present, doing the best we can today, rather than worrying about the future. This is also a key principle of Stoic philosophy, living in the present, facing reality actively, instead of worrying about things beyond our control. So, what should your morning routine include? First, take time to reflect on what you are grateful for. This not only helps you focus on the positive aspects of life, but also makes you realize that despite difficulties, you have many precious things. Then, focus on identifying the values you will pursue throughout the day. Don't just think about work tasks. Think about how you want to face every challenge with patience, humility, and compassion. Finally, remember that not every day will be perfect. There will be mornings when you feel unmotivated, stressed, or lacking confidence. But just as Jesus found peace in prayer and Marcus Aurelius found strength in reflection, you can find balance if you stay committed to your morning routine. Don't let one bad day affect your entire journey. Remember, every morning is a chance to start again, to live better and to grow stronger. So, how will you start your morning tomorrow? Number two, practice mindfulness and meditation. Every morning is a new beginning and in the quiet moments before the world wakes up, we have the chance to find peace and prepare for life's inevitable ups and downs. As a Stoic philosopher, I believe that meditation and mindfulness are essential practices for maintaining awareness and inner control. These principles not only help you face the chaos of modern life, but also serve as the foundation for living a meaningful, self-possessed life that values every moment. Stoic philosophy is not just a high-level theory, but a practical system that guides us on how to think and act in the face of life's challenges. To maintain calm in adversity, morning meditation and mindfulness are core methods for connecting with yourself, mastering your emotions, and preparing for whatever may come. Morning meditation is not merely sitting in silence and breathing. It's an opportunity to explore within, to question your goals, intentions, and responsibilities. When you meditate, you have a conversation with yourself, reviewing what's going on in your mind. You ask yourself, am I mentally prepared for today? Do I have enough patience and calmness to face the challenges? Meditation helps you answer these questions, bringing you closer to the peace and wisdom that Stoic philosophy encourages. Mindfulness is a key component of the Stoic lifestyle. It encourages us to focus on the present, to live in each moment, and not let our minds be swept away by useless thoughts of the past or future. Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, 
We are not disturbed by what happens to us, but by our thoughts about what happens to us. This means that it's our perception and reaction to events that determine our inner peace. Morning mindfulness helps you realize that all you have is the present moment. When you practice mindfulness, you don't get caught up in worries about work, money or relationships. Instead, you focus on your breath, on the feeling of being present and on the peace that the present moment offers. This way, you prepare yourself to approach the day with a calm and ready mind, no matter what it may bring. The concept of meditation and mindfulness isn't unique to Stoic philosophy. It shares strong parallels with the teachings of Jesus Christ. In the Bible, Jesus often advised his disciples to seek inner peace through prayer and stillness. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. This is an invitation to find peace by letting go of worldly worries and returning to the soul, which is what meditation and mindfulness offer. Jesus often took time alone to pray and connect with God, which can be seen as a form of meditation, helping him maintain focus and spiritual strength in his mission. He serves as an example that inner peace does not come from external circumstances, but from connection with one's soul and with the divine. Take a moment to ask yourself, do you often let your mind be disturbed by worries about the future or the past? Do you feel like life is passing by without truly living in each moment? Practicing mindfulness and morning meditation will help you see the difference between merely existing and truly living. Starting the day with mindfulness doesn't require hours of practice. It can be as simple as spending a few minutes sitting quietly, focusing on your breath and allowing thoughts to come and go without judgment. When you do this, you'll notice that your worries and stresses begin to fade and you approach the day with a peaceful and clear mind. Many successful individuals have acknowledged that meditation and mindfulness are key factors in maintaining alertness and clarity. Apple founder Steve Jobs is a prime example. He incorporated meditation into his daily routine and often credited his mental clarity and focus to maintaining a peaceful, quiet mind. Another example is Oprah Winfrey, who is well known for practicing mindfulness and meditation. She often speaks about how moments of stillness help her connect with herself and find answers to life's difficult problems. Modern life is full of disruptions and stress, but by practicing mindfulness and meditation every morning, we can equip ourselves with a peaceful, strong mind ready to face any challenge. Just as the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius and Jesus Christ found inner peace through reflection and connection with themselves, we too can do the same. Ask yourself, are you willing to spend a few minutes each morning meditating and truly living in the present moment? If the answer is yes, then you've already taken the first step towards spiritual freedom and true happiness. Number three, write down their thoughts. As the sun begins to rise and the world remains immersed in sleep, this is the most precious moment for each of us to reflect on ourselves. In Stoic philosophy, writing down your thoughts every morning is not just a way to express your mood or plan for the day, but a method to train your mind and spirit. It helps us maintain awareness, control our thoughts, and face challenges with clarity. The renowned Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, emphasized the importance of daily self-reflection and thought journaling. For Marcus Aurelius, writing down his thoughts 
was not only a way to free his mind, but also a tool to reinforce his philosophy of life, despite the external difficulties he faced. Writing down your thoughts each morning is a way to remind yourself of your values, life philosophy, and goals. It helps you face challenges calmly and with self-control. A new day can be full of obstacles, pressure from work, complex relationships, or unexpected situations beyond your control. Writing down your thoughts is a way to prepare your mind, like a warrior donning armor before entering battle. Ask yourself, what did you think about this morning? What worries or excites you about today? Writing them down not only helps you identify what is dominating your mind, but also allows you to assess whether those thoughts are truly necessary. Have you ever felt consumed by worries about things you cannot change? Are these thoughts hindering your progress? Writing down your thoughts is also a way to balance your emotions and thoughts. Mental turmoil, fears, and anxieties often rob us of our calm, but by recording them, we can confront them directly and analyze them rationally. For example, if you're worried about an upcoming important meeting, write down why you're anxious. What's the worst that could happen? What can you control? And what is beyond your control? As Stoic philosophy teaches, we should focus only on what we can control and let go of what is beyond our reach. This journaling process is like a mental exercise that helps us organize and balance our emotions. In modern life, with the pressures from work, society, and personal responsibilities, writing down your thoughts each morning becomes a spiritual anchor. It helps you reconnect with your true self. Listen to your inner voice and avoid being swept away by the noise of the outside world. While many people write down their to-do lists, Stoics advise us to go deeper, writing down our beliefs, values, and how we want to live. This is a tool of self-reflection, a step beyond simple planning. A practical example from real life is the habit of many successful leaders and entrepreneurs, from Oprah Winfrey to Richard Branson, who have acknowledged that journaling every morning is one of the most important habits that help them stay focused and in control of their lives. By writing down what's on their minds, they can see more clearly what needs to be done and eliminate unnecessary distractions. A busy mother taking care of her family could spend a few minutes each morning writing down her worries and goals for the day. A student preparing for an important exam could write down their anxiety and, through reflection, realize that what they truly need is focus, not fear. Morning journaling is not just a routine writing practice but a way for Stoics to maintain self-control, calmness, and peace. It helps you train your mind, reassess yourself, and prepare to face any challenges in life. When you write, you will realize that you have more control than you think. You will learn to let go of useless worries and focus on the most important things in life. So, take a few minutes each morning before stepping into the whirlwind of life, to listen to and write down your thoughts. It will not only help you awaken your mind, but also bring you closer to the inner peace that Stoic philosophy always emphasizes. We want to take a moment to thank and congratulate you for making it halfway through today's video. Your presence here shows that you are fully committed to this journey. Now, Let's shift your focus to the final two principles of pausing your thoughts as you continue to refine yourself. Number four, write daily intentions, not goals. 
Writing down daily intentions instead of focusing solely on goals is a habit that, as a Stoic philosopher, I hold in high regard each morning. The distinction between concentrating on intentions versus goals is crucial in how we perceive life and approach our daily actions. While goals aim for a result, a destination we hope to reach, intentions are within our control, reflecting how we wish to act, the attitude we choose, and how we face each challenge throughout the day. From the perspective of a Stoic philosopher, goals are not always within our control. Life is full of uncertainties and unpredictable events. You might plan for a successful meeting, but what happens if your partner unexpectedly cancels it? You might aim to complete a project by the weekend, but what if you fall ill? We cannot fully control these factors, and when things don't go as planned, disappointment, insecurity, and a sense of failure can overwhelm us. However, our intentions are different. Intentions are not dependent on external conditions. They are entirely up to us. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most famous Stoic philosophers and Roman emperors, once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Intentions are that power. How you choose to think, how you choose to treat others, and how you choose to face challenges. In modern life, many people set grand goals and promise themselves they will achieve them. But what happens when those goals don't materialize? Someone might feel discouraged when they don't get the job promotion they were expecting, but if they only focus on the end goal and forget their daily intentions, such as working hard, learning from mistakes, and treating colleagues kindly, they will quickly fall into frustration and lose direction. Consider the life of parents as an example. They may set a goal of raising their children to be successful, but if they focus only on that goal, they might feel powerless when faced with the inevitable challenges of parenting. However, if they focus on their daily intention to be the best parent they can be, to love, be patient, and teach through small actions, then no matter how tough things get, they will find happiness and peace in the process. And this is exactly what Stoic philosophy emphasizes. Focus on what you can control. When you write down your daily intentions, ask yourself, what can I do today to improve myself? Not just to achieve a larger goal, but to live according to my values. Intentions are not just about finishing a task, but about how you want to be as a person while doing it. How do you want to treat others? How do you want to control your emotions? How do you want to face challenges? This habit is foundational for building a meaningful and self-sufficient life. Focus on your daily intentions, because that's the only thing truly within your grasp. This reminds us that while the final goal may be out of reach, our intentions and reactions to whatever happens are things we can adjust every day. Start each morning not by setting lofty goals, but by writing down your daily intentions. These are the small actions and attitudes you choose to bring to life. This practice will bring you peace, as you will no longer be caught up in worry or disappointment when things don't go as planned. Instead, you will live a balanced, self-controlled and meaningful life. Most importantly, you will discover that real strength doesn't lie in what you achieve, but in how you face life every day with the mindset of a Stoic philosopher. Number five, embrace discomfort every morning. The morning is the first moment of the day when we confront reality, the time when our body, mind and soul 
need to be prepared to enter the world with calmness and self-control. But instead of seeking comfort, Stoic philosophy encourages us to do the opposite, embrace discomfort, training ourselves through small challenges that hold great power. This practice not only helps us grow, but also builds the foundation for patience, self-discipline and empathy toward others. Stoics believe that comfort can be a double-edged sword. It provides temporary ease, but can also turn us into prisoners of weak habits, making us fearful of challenges. Embracing discomfort each morning is how Stoics seek true freedom, the freedom from external pressures, easy temptations and the fear of uncontrollable circumstances. Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest Roman emperors and a famous Stoic philosopher, wrote in Meditations, Begin each day by telling yourself, Today I shall be meeting with interference, ingratitude, insolence, disloyalty, ill will and selfishness, all of them due to the offender's ignorance of what is good or evil. Here we see Marcus's philosophy clearly. Discomfort is inevitable. But how we face and overcome it is what truly shapes us. Imagine starting your morning by waking up earlier than usual, even though your body longs to stay in the warmth of your bed. This simple action is the first discomfort of the day that you embrace. It is a lesson in willpower, discipline and patience. For a Stoic, getting out of bed with the mindset of being ready to face discomfort gives them the strength of self-control. Discomfort can come in small forms, taking a cold shower, exercising or spending time in quiet reflection on the day ahead. Actions like a cold shower may bring coldness and discomfort, but enduring these moments helps build willpower and patience. When you can face small discomforts like this, the larger challenges in life become far less intimidating. Jesus Christ, revered in the Bible, set a powerful example of embracing discomfort in life. When faced with his greatest challenges, betrayal, torture, and ultimately crucifixion, he did not avoid suffering, but accepted it with compassion and unconditional faith in God. This is not only a lesson in endurance, but also in compassion, as he accepted suffering out of love and salvation for humanity. From Jesus' example, we see that discomfort is not only an inevitable part of life, but also a path to growth and salvation. Like him, we need to face suffering and uncertainty to grow spiritually and develop patience. In modern life, we are easily drawn into comfort and convenience from waking up with a preset alarm to moving passively through our daily routines. But does this truly help us grow? Look at the most successful people in life, from professional athletes to top entrepreneurs. Most of them embrace discomfort as a necessary part of their journey to success. For example, David Goggins, known as one of the toughest men in the world, often starts his mornings with long marathon runs, regardless of the weather conditions. Goggins emphasizes that facing discomfort helps us train not only our physical strength, but also our mental resilience, which is crucial to overcoming life's challenges. Furthermore, successful leaders like Tim Ferriss and Elon Musk often talk about how they challenge themselves early in the morning to mentally prepare for any challenge the day might bring. Embracing discomfort each morning is not just a lesson in personal discipline, but also how Stoics seek mental freedom. It's the freedom from invisible fears, from dependency on external conditions, and most importantly, the freedom from the limits we set on ourselves. 
Just as Jesus faced suffering with patience and love, we too can learn to face small challenges in our daily lives, growing stronger and more resilient. The early morning is the ideal time to start this journey. By placing ourselves in uncomfortable situations, we not only prepare for the difficulties of the day, but also build the mental strength to confront any larger challenges life may bring. As each morning begins, we stand at the threshold of a new day with countless opportunities and challenges awaiting. By applying five habits based on Stoic philosophy, you not only prepare yourself physically and mentally, but also create a solid foundation to face life with calmness and self-control. Life is always filled with things beyond our control, but how we react to them is the key to achieving inner peace. Every morning, you have the choice to confront the world with the mindset of a stoic warrior, living a meaningful, strong life, unshaken by the turbulence of the world. So, are you ready to turn these habits into your journey? Start tomorrow morning and let Stoicism guide you towards a life of tranquility, wisdom and self-mastery. If you enjoyed the video, please comment one to let us know. And if you didn't, comment zero so we can improve our content and make it even better. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on more videos about Stoicism and personal development.